Bosch. For well over a century, our forward-looking technology and pioneering inventions have made history. We are a company with worldwide activities. Automotive technology. Safer, cleaner, more economical. The core competence of Bosch lies in its vision of the better car. Industrial technology. Bosch Rexroth is continuously expanding its market share. On the great stages of the world, for example, precisely operating drive and control systems work quietly in the background of major productions. Clinical sterility is vitally important for patients. Bosch is the market leader in the field of pharmaceutical packaging technology and maintains a strong position in the food and confectionery industry. With strong brands like Bosch, Skill and Dremel, Bosch Power Tools are dependable partners for both do-it-yourselfers and the professional trades. And in the household too, Bosch has been making life more comfortable for decades. The Bosch Siemens Joint Venture for Household Appliances is the European market leader in this field. With its brands Bosch, Junkers, Volcano, Worcester, Radson and Buderis, Bosch is one of the world's most important manufacturers of heating and water heating equipment. Bosch generates nearly three quarters of its sales outside Germany. And in doing so, it relies more than anything else on its people. Today, more than 240,000 associates in more than 50 countries contribute to the success of our company. Stuttgart, Germany, November 15, 1886. With a starting capital of only 10,000 German marks, the 25-year-old Robert Bosch sets up his own company, the Workshop for Precision Mechanics and Electrical Engineering. In its startup phase, the company keeps its head above water with electrical installation work and with repair work on small mechanical and electrical parts. The advent of the automobile provides the company with the opportunity it needs for rapid growth and advancement. In 1897, Robert Bosch is the first to succeed in operating a magneto ignition device in a three-wheeler. It is the only ignition system that works in a motor vehicle. This is the 1903 Gordon Bennett race. The winner is the Belgian driver Camille Yanazzi, with the help of his Bosch magneto ignition system. Yanazzi becomes the model for the legendary Red Devil advertising campaigns. The young company is soon bursting at the seams. New plant buildings go up in Stuttgart and neighboring Feuerbach. In 1898, Bosch opens its first sales office in England. Other sales offices follow in other European countries. And in 1906, the company extends its activities across the Atlantic. The first North American sales office is located in New York City. The range of products is extended. In 1913, Bosch becomes the first supplier of automotive equipment to put a complete electrical system on the market. A magneto ignition system with spark plugs, headlights, generator and voltage regulator. 
Beginning in 1921, Bosch systematically builds up an extensive after-sales service organization known as the Bosch Service Stations. Authorized workshops operating on an independent basis sell Bosch products, install them, and if necessary, do repair work. As early as 1913, Bosch generates 88% of its sales outside Germany. However, this makes the consequences of the First and Second World Wars all the more devastating for the company. After the First World War, offices and plants in Allied territory are expropriated. During the Second World War, Allied bombs cause large sections of the home front factories to go up in flames. And once again, the company loses international locations and sales offices. During both wars, Bosch is also a manufacturer of armaments. When thousands of associates are called to the front lines, the company is left with a shortage of qualified workers. In order to meet government armaments targets, prisoners of war and forced laborers have to be put to work. At the same time, however, Bosch supports the resistance to the Nazi regime. With the knowledge and support of Bosch management and using Stuttgart as a base, Karl Gödeler organizes a resistance group its activities come to a head in the failed attempt to assassinate Adolf Hitler on July 20th, 1944. Hans Waltz, successor to Robert Bosch, carries out instructions from the company's founder to help save many people of Jewish descent from Nazi persecution. Years later, the State of Israel honors him with the Righteous Among the Nations Medal. Robert Bosch does not live to witness the destruction of his plant facilities. He dies on March 12, 1942, at the age of 80. Following his death, Hans Waltz takes over the management. Together with only 800 associates, he goes about rebuilding the company. In the 1950s, he quickly ushers in a period of renewed prosperity for Bosch. At the 1933 Leipzig Spring Fair, Bosch presents a refrigerator, surprising both industry and the general public. But why is this automotive pioneer suddenly building refrigerators? In 1927, the diesel injection system is a worldwide success, as it continues to be to this very day. Yet Bosch recognizes the danger of concentrating too blindly on the automotive field. With the Forfex haircutting machine, Bosch produces its first power tool. In 1932, Bosch takes over Idealwerke, a manufacturer of radios, later to be called Blaupunkt. In many areas, Bosch is well ahead of its time. In 1952, its first gasoline fuel injection pump is ready for series production. 1967 sees the first Bosch electronic gasoline fuel injection system. In 1978, Blaupunkt engineers introduce a revolutionary development, a traffic guidance system called Ali, which years later in 1995 leads to the launch of the Travel Pilot, a satellite-based navigation system. Also in 1978, the ABS anti-lock braking system goes into series production. Today, ASR, the traction control system and ESP, the electronic stability program, have helped to drastically reduce the number of traffic accidents.
I was never in favor of placating my workforce with all kinds of charitable beneficence and alms. On the contrary, I considered it more appropriate to pay my employees a decent wage and to treat them not with condescension from on high, but as contractual partners with equal rights. Early in my activities, in 1906, I introduced the eight-hour day in my company because I considered it the most economical practice and the one most suitable to preserving human working strength. It has always been an unbearable thought to me that someone could inspect one of my products and find it inferior in any way. For that reason, I have constantly tried to deliver only products which withstand the closest scrutiny Products which prove themselves superior in every respect, says Robert Bosch, the quality-conscious entrepreneur. During the First World War, Robert Bosch donates the profits from his armaments business to charity. With the establishment of the Robert Bosch Hospital in Stuttgart to mark his 75th birthday, Robert Bosch sees the fulfillment of a dream. In his last will and testament, written in 1937, Robert Bosch secures the survival of his company and the future of his associates. At the same time, he provides for the continuation of his charitable activities in a manner reflective of his spirit and will. Today, the Robert Bosch Foundation owns 92% of the company and uses corporate profits for charitable purposes. Every day, thousands of Bosch scientists, engineers, and technicians are working all over the world to develop new products and systems, as well as innovative manufacturing processes. Bosch registers 12 patents every working day.